asking you, your point in all of this is to say Paul is suggesting that Agrippa become a Christian, which means that Paul wants everyone to be a Christian, which means that everyone can be a Christian. Is that not correct from listening to you? Did I not pull yeah, your yeah, that's, point? That's exactly, yeah, that's exactly what Paul okay, said. Okay, thank trial. you. That's why I read, yeah, that's why I read uh, Paul was, Paul. that's why Paul went into that on trial. He literally just read, uh, I wish that all that hear me this day would believe. So what I'm saying is... Every, everything Paul said there was to teach everybody that they can be a Christian. That's what you're saying. That's madness. Yeah, this is what I'm saying, what Paul is saying. Paul's on trial. I Paul understand. I understand. So, you do right, not so, have to so, re, so, uh, repeat the Pastor, account. Paul, Paul is right. So Paul. So if I'm correct, I'm correct. You can move on. I understand you. I'm I okay. That's what Please, you say. Okay. Yeah, you can student read on. Acts 26 10 times. Right. Yeah, I had to re I had to read it mass times because which I no. did every time no, I no. read it, y'all went hello. Object no, I'm I'm not doing anything. I'm just saying that is your point. Your point is because Paul said those things in front of Agrippa. He said that because he wants Agrippa to become a Christian, Agrippa being an Edomite. This is Paul's desire to convert everyone to Christianity, which is your position. That's what you're saying. That's the whole point of this. Yeah, well, I'm not saying, well, I'm not. Hey, going, Corey. I'm, I'm going to just read it. Look, look, look. Wait, Salaki, Salaki. No, you don't have to read it a thousand times. I'm not reading it. I just Acts wanted to know 15. what was your point. I'm reading a different and I, What did I understand? It's good. It's okay. Okay, Acts 9 and 15. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the uh, Gentiles, the kings. And the children of Israel, uh, that's that's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? So through that dispensation, we can see uh, the Gentiles being carried in uh, in uh, through through salvation in the way of believing through how Paul right. operated through his ministry. And, and you made that point, and you proved. Hey, it. so is the floor open for questions? Just Yo, hold on. Who's yeah, asking? So like, I, I Abba Shai, that's Abba Shai. You have to mute hold, your mic. Hold, hold we'll on. This up, and then we'll be opening the floor. In the so, hey, hey a, Pastor, he no, don't ask that. me nothing because I'm not trying to debate with you. I just, I, I literally asked a sincere question. What no, come on, come on. So your debate. point was that. Paul is trying to convert everybody to Christianity. That's the purpose of Paul. But then the opposing party was making a crux concerning, you know, the law and the prophets. I don't think you tried to understand what he was saying there. So I'm going to ask him. Naquam, wow. was your point of bringing up Obadiah, Isaiah, Malachi, Numbers, was your point to say, if Paul was being sincere instead of being clever in talking to Agrippa, if he was being sincere, that would mean Agrippa would have to know that all Edomites are destined to be destroyed. There shall be none remaining. You cannot judge the children of Israel unless you are Israelite. And Agrippa, if you know that, you should relinquish the judgment seat. No, 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 Pastor, Agrippa. that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking to Nike to, to not confirm what he's saying. Like, I'm not debating okay. with you. Like you. I'm not debating. I'm Come confirming. I Can a heathen repent if they break the commandments? Can a heathen? Oh, yeah, let me get that answer for you. Oh, Uh, can somebody get Ezekiel 14 and 6 and 7, please? I'm on daddy duty, bro, but wait, what is it? You said Ezekiel, Ezekiel 14? Yeah, 6 to 7. I'm always on daddy duty. I love my kids. Uh, Ezekiel what? 14? I'm, I'm sorry, bro. These kids, man. Yeah, I'm hold on. You did help me, brother. Hey, get in. Right, hey, I got you. you want thank me. you, thank you. Yeah, Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 6. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord God, repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away from uh, your faces from all your abominations. For everyone of the house of Israel or of the stranger that sojourneth in Israel, which separate himself from me and set up idols in his heart and putteth the stumbling block of iniquity before his face and cometh to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me, I, the Lord, will answer him by myself. Is this with the blood of Jesus Christ, this repentance? Is what? The, you talking about that verse I just read? Yes. Is that repentance with the blood of Jesus Christ? 
yeah, all those that um, repent and come into the uh, faith and believe in Christ can have forgiveness of sins. So in Ezekiel chapter 14 and 6, they can repent with the blood of Jesus Christ during that time? Yeah, you can uh, repent uh, by having faith in Christ. Well, Jesus, Christ that, uh, Jesus Christ walked the earth during the time of Ezekiel? Uh, he didn't have to. They didn't have prophecies work. But you're saying that these people can repent for the blood of Jesus Christ during the no, time you, of Ezekiel. No, no, you asked me if other nations could repent, and I just showed you. Now you're asking asked something else because you got stuck. I asked, you, I asked you, is this repentance with the blood of Jesus Christ? You said yes. You asked, no, you just asked two different questions. So I just, you, Naquam, you know, Naquam, restate your question. Shabar, answer it yes or no. Shabar, is this repentance in Ezekiel 14, as Ezekiel is prophesying to them, is this repentance with the blood of Jesus Christ? Yes or no? Uh, I don't think uh, Ezekiel in that vision was seeing a crisis face. It doesn't say that there. You ask, is, I'm, is, I'm, I'm is your answer no, Shabar? Yeah, I don't see Jesus Christ right there. Can so your answer is no. Jesus okay. Christ right there. His, answer, his answer is no. Go ahead and call him. All right. This is crazy. You can't even say no. This I don't have to like you did. That's ridiculous. Nice says, try. The Bible says you do. Let's well, why didn't back you back do it? Five. Hold on. Let's go right. to Acts Shabar, chapter hold your peas up. Let's go to Acts chapter 5 and 31. Right? Let's see if these heathen can repent with the blood of Jesus Christ. Because you said in Ezekiel chapter 14, they can repent with the blood of Jesus Christ. No, you're and a liar. I didn't just say that, bro. What the hell is wrong with you? What? You did say that. We just no, heard. Did. No, no, you didn't, didn't, bro. No, I didn't, he bro. just no, he I didn't, didn't, didn't say that. You're a damn liar, bro. You need to repent from that, bro. You trip. All right, Shabar, hold your peace. Dewan, shut the hell up and get off the stage. It's very simple. You're not a moderator. Onam is the moderator. I let, told let, you guys to actually hold your peace. Hold that time. We're going to add 45 seconds back on the time because your time, your team is speaking out on our platform. That is not how the platform go. So uh, I'm we're going to reset. I'm a, I'm a one Shabar. second, one second, Donald Kwan. One second. We we're gonna hold it. the time and we're gonna add that time right back on there. For I you. got you. I got you. Everybody I just did it. Reset. I got was, you. Um, reset. Uh, this is gonna be more so our debate style on the guy first game. Um, the topic is who is salvation for? It's gonna be broke up into two topics. The first part of it is what is salvation. The second part of it is who is salvation for. Um, we're gonna give both brothers at least two two and a half minutes is not going to be time to simply just say what their position is when it comes to this topic so it's clean and clear for the panel and it's clean and clear for the audience and then we'll go into round one round one is you literally setting your premise with scripture so round one it'll be shabar for five minutes and then round one, it'll be Naquam for five minutes, following up Shabar. Round two, it'll be Shabar rebuttaling what was said and furthering his premise for five minutes. Then it will be Naquam for five minutes, rebuttaling and furthering and double down on his premise. Then it will be round three. And round three is styled as a hot seat. The hot seat is 20 minutes on each side of questions and answers, meaning Shabar on round three is the one who's asking the questions and he will be questioning Naquam for 20 straight minutes. And Naquam must only answer with answers out of his mouth, yes or no, or with scripture. Uh, no, he can't answer with a question and then vice versa. Then Naquan would have his 20 minutes going towards Shabar. 20 minutes worth of questions. Get If it's a yes or no answer, if it's a yes or no question, you must give a yes or no answer. That's how it goes. Yes or no question, give a yes or no answer. And you can support it with scripture after you say yes or after you say no. But if it's a yes or no question, you have to say yes or no then give your scripture to support your position. Um, and that's fine. There's a two minute limit on when you're questioned. And I'll restate this once we get a little closer to round three. 
there's a two minute limit on when you actually uh, are is giving an answer. You know, one, two precepts, one, a breakdown of those precepts or three quick precepts. You got two minutes to make that answer and before another question comes. Um, so after that, if there's anything left on the table that you brothers want to build on, if you have any more time, uh, that's just freestyling. It has nothing to do with the actual the debate. The debate is over. But if y'all want to continue with where you guys are and continue an open build, that's perfect. If not, you guys got some things to get to. Y'all busy men. Perfect. Um, so, uh, Naquam, Shabar, y'all agree? 